guys, for our literacy challenge today, we are going to use some adjectives. And so adjectives are describing words, words that describe something, okay? So we're going to use some adjectives to describe a dinosaur and then write our own sentences about a dinosaur, okay? So I've drawn my own dinosaur here, and that's what I want you guys to do at home, draw yourselves a dinosaur. Then, make sure that you draw it, guys, not your grown-ups. I don't want to see your grown-ups drawing of dinosaurs. I want to see yours, okay? So, draw yourself a dinosaur. Then, have a chat with your grown-up or your siblings at home. Um, and think of some words that describe your dinosaur. So, let's have a, look at, have a look at my dinosaur. And I think he is big. So, that's a describing word, an adjective, isn't it? Big. I'm going to write some little notes. Big. Okay, my dinosaur has sharp teeth, sharp, sharp teeth, okay, and then in a bit I'm going to colour my dinosaur in, I'm going to colour him in red, okay, red, red, okay, so I've thought of some adjectives, you guys will be able to think of lots more as well, so you can make some notes about um, some adjectives to describe your dinosaur. And then I want you to write a minimum of at least three sentences, but more if you can, please. Um, so write some sentences about your dinosaur, okay? So I'm going to write, my dinosaur is big, okay? So let's rehearse that sentence in our head. This is how we remember our sentences that we're going to write, isn't it? So, how many words are in that sentence? My dinosaur is big. So it's got four words in it. Remember, hold that sentence in your head. So I'm gonna hold that sentence in my head. My, my, that is our tricky word, isn't it? So if you could get a chance to write our tricky words in, in here, that'd be really good too. So my dinosaur is red, uh, big. My dinosaur is big. So my capital M. Mm, so capital M, my, because it's the start of a sentence. My, I'm going to leave a finger space. So my, finger space, dinosaur. So you might need a grown-up to help you with the word dinosaur. Well, you will need a grown-up. Dinosaur. Oh, I'm just going to rub, rub his legs out there because I can't fit it on. My dinosaur, finger space, is a, 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 a is my dinosaur is finger space big b e g big my dinosaur is big what do we need at the end of our sentence guys what do we need we need a full stop good my dinosaur is big full stop good what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm actually going to rub all of this out now because I'm going to draw some lines on the board so that um, I'm writing really nice and straight, okay? I want to model it nice and neatly and straight for you guys. And that's what you guys could be doing at home as well. If you haven't got any line paper at home, see if you've grown up, I could maybe draw some lines for you. And it'll just help with writing on the lines because when we're in school, we do actually practice writing on the lines, don't we? In our books. We try to write on the lines, okay? So, if you can, try and write on the lines at home as well. Okay, so my dinosaur is big, okay? Then I'm going to write, he has sharp teeth. So let's hold that sentence in our heads. He has sharp teeth. He has sharp teeth. And he is a tricky word, isn't it, as well? So, he, capital, her, so H, he, finger space, has, a, uh, has, finger space, sharp, okay? And grown ups at home, when you're um, encouraging your children to write these sentences, try and encourage them to think for themselves what the um, sounds are that they need. Obviously, things like dinosaur, they're going to need some help with. Um, I mean, I'm not saying not to help the children, but if they can try and think of them for themselves. So, for example, if they're struggling to spell the word has, um, has, okay, so think about how many sounds are in has, has, so that's three, um, three sounds, has, so write the 
down. Hmm, what comes next? We've got, what's the next sound? Ah, good, write that one down. Ah, and then what's that last sound? Has, ah, s, has. Okay, so then I encourage children to try and write them, write as much as they can for themselves, okay? So he has finger space, sharp, sh, So they're special friends, aren't they? So you might want to draw a little line under there just so that you remember. Sharp, sh, ah. Again, these are special friends, but we've not learned that sound yet. Sharp, he has sharp teeth. E, oh look, it's got that sound at the end, hasn't it? That we've learned, teeth, it's got the th sound, okay? So I want to make sure that I see anybody writing the word teeth, that they use that th sound and I'll be really impressed, okay? He has sharp teeth, give it a full stop, fabulous. And then if you can write uh, two more sentences to make three sentences and show me your beautiful writing, your beautiful pictures, I will be really, really impressed and then your creative challenge as well is to have a look online if you go onto the internet and have a look do a bit of research into dinosaur fossils and dinosaur bones okay so if you go onto google images have a look at different pictures of dinosaur fossils and bones and then see if you can create your, or draw your own dinosaur fossils and dinosaur bones for me to have a look at okay right um that's it for this week, guys. I will see you again on Monday. Bye.